Just after midnight, on March 3rd, 2020, the city of Nashville, Tennessee, fell victim to a surprise EF3 tornado in the middle of the city and the middle of the night. Before many people could comprehend what was upon them, five people lost their lives, 220 were hurt, and 73,000 lost power. The tornado crossed the Cumberland River a total of five times during the disaster. When the tornado dissipated, this scene was left in its wake. During the March 2022 tornado outbreak in Texas, security cameras caught the Round Rock tornado on, on film as it approached the town's Kalahari Resort. The view of the EF2 tornado remains unobstructed until the winds force the camera into a downward position. The resort sustained moderate damage when the tornado struck and was closed for four days. Nobody was killed in the town site, but this tornado went on to inflict significant damage to 680 homes throughout Round Rock, and $32 million worth of damage was done. It was soon followed by another twister in 2023. When a tornado touched down in Raleigh, North Carolina, an amateur cameraman recorded it from the 26th floor of the city's RBC Plaza. At such heights, finding adequate shelter from a tornado would be extremely difficult. The cameraman dangerously chooses to remain in place to film the tornado as it carves a path 
right through the city's downtown. Power is out downtown. Stuff flying everywhere. This is not safe. There's stuff flying everywhere. Fortunately, the tornado skirted the building where the cameraman was located, but had it achieved a greater intensity than its EF3 strength, the devastation to the plaza, the surrounding buildings, and the people inside would have been staggering. The tornado outbreak that lasted from April 14th through April 16th, 2011, was a foreshadowing of the super outbreak that would explode across the southern U.S. only a few days later. As the outbreak was just about finished, a devastating tornado passed in the vicinity of Snow Hill, North Carolina, causing EF3 damage as it did so. I'm hearing there. No. Yes, it is. Wind, I'm hearing. We're getting through them Yeah. Y'all, y'all had that door unlocked in case we gotta go to the bathroom, though. That's um. Jason 1, it's emergency traffic. Go ahead. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Dude, yeah, there it is. Get in the bathroom. Get in the bathroom now. There it is. Oh, my gosh. Get in the bathroom, Larry. That is a beast. Oh, my gosh. Oh, gosh. Get in the bathroom. Get in the bathroom. Let's go. Get in, Kath. Look at that. It's brief everywhere in the air. It's trying to shift north, but it's about to be. Now it's coming north, about to hit West Green School. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Inside. I want to get a pick. Inside. Let's go. All right.
Nobody was killed by the tornado in Snow Hill or Greene County, but two people were injured over the course of its lifespan. The human and financial toll of the tornado could have been much higher had it entered the town itself. A nocturnal EF4 tornado that struck the city of Noonan, Georgia in 2021 was caught on a security camera mounted on a home that eventually ended up in the tornado's outer winds. As the roar of the winds intensifies, it perfectly captures the feeling of impending doom anyone in the tornado's path would experience as it makes a beeline straight for them. The Noonan tornado resulted in one death and the leveling and de-roofing of other structures in and around the city. The home with the security camera suffered EF1 damage. <laughs> 